Hello and welcome to another All the Mod 6 tutorial. Today we are going to be attempting to cover the basics of RF Tools dimensions. This is a deeply, 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 deeply complicated mod that requires a lot of parts and a lot of power. And this is going to be an end game thing for sure. These mostly come in handy when we're talking about a skyblock world but they do have their uses outside of that and i feel like there's really no documentation on these there's really no good tutorials on them so i'm going to do my absolute best to tell you what you need to know about rf tools dimensions and how to use them including a couple of fail safes so let's go ahead and get started i'm not going to cover the block recipes because we have JEI for that. So if you want to know how to just use JEI or REI or whatever recipe mod you have in your pack, this is not necessarily going to be specific to all the mod six because I've been using RF tools dimensions for some time now. It hasn't really changed all that much from what I've seen. Let's just go ahead and get started on the basics here. You're going to need, when you get started, two matter transmitters, one matter receiver. The matter booster is optional. But if you don't use a matter booster, you could run into a situation where you're trying to teleport to a dead receiver. So the matter transmitter is basically your teleport away pad and your matter receiver is your teleport back pad. So that goes to the destination that you're trying to reach. Then you're going to also need a really good power network. I like flux networks. I won't get into all that, but it basically allows you to wirelessly transmit power anywhere and has some really good storage in it. That's going to be another very expensive thing to build but it can be done so i'll just leave that at that so then our matter transmitter goes next to the dialing device your dialing device is gonna oh well let's name this matter transmitter so let's call this one home so home and there's its coordinates in the world that it's in and then there are all these dimensions that we could teleport to and from this one down here is a dimension that i've actually created and put into the dimension builder that's the main block that makes all of the things that this mod can do do the things that it can do so let's go ahead and take the realized dimension tab out of there let's talk about how we got that this is the inscriber and to make use of it you're going to need an empty dimension tab you can fill this up with stuff like this is an admin dimlet there are all these things called dimlets that you can put in there all the mod 6 looks like it just has the digit dimlets and then each of these and you can customize each of these dimlets over here in the dimlet workbench so you could conceivably make like a super flat world made of diamond block. So you can make that into a super flat world using the attribute dimlet. And then you could use the block dimlet to determine what blocks are going to be in the dimension that you're generating. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to give it an admin dimlet. We're going to name it. Now you can only do lowercase and no special characters here. So we're going to call this the admin dimension, and we will store that. And there we go. Now we have a new realized dimension tab. So let's go ahead and pop that, the admin dimension tab, into the dimension builder. And when this hits 100%, it's ready to be teleported to. Now we go to the dialer, and we tell it we want to dial the admin dimension. But before we go in there, we need to give ourselves a way to return. So this, we are going to call the return from admin matter transmitter we're going to make sure it gets fully charged there before we use it and then we're going to go back into our dialer we're going to select the return from admin transmitter and we are going to select the overworld okay that's the overworld matter receiver we want to make sure that's where we're going to come back to we're going to click dial if you click dial once this will work but you will only be able to teleport home once. So make sure you don't go back into that dimension without doing this again. Now what we need to do is use a smart wrench and we're gonna hold shift or crouch, whatever your crouch button is. And we're going to right click on this matter transmitter, the one that we just set to return us to home. If we don't have that in our inventory when we go to a new dimension, we don't have a way home <laughs> without starting completely over and having to gather all the resources necessary to rebuild an entire RF tools dimension builder system. <laughs> so make sure you have that in your inventory before you go through the teleporter. Even if you're playing in creative mode, even if you have cheats on, I don't think you actually have a way back without that. So 
make sure you have that. I also like to make sure that I have some kind of power storage and some of these flux points from the flux networks mod that allows us to wirelessly transmit power to our matter transmitter. So now we can set up a permanent way back to the overworld. All right, so now that we've done all that, what's gonna happen when we jump into the admin dimension? It's going to build up an entire world for us to then go and explore. This is kind of a Minecraft world within a Minecraft world. It's pretty wild how far you can actually take this if you want to. Now we're going to place the return from admin matter transmitter. We're going to put that dimensional cell underneath it, put a flux point, point on it and connect it to the network. Epitome's network is mine. Yours will be named whatever you decide to name it or, or whatever your username is, your in-game name is. Make a waypoint. <laughs> If you have any kind of a map system that allows you to place waypoints, do it. Because otherwise it's going to be incredibly easy to become lost and not be able to find your way back. And we have like floating orbs of water. So this is the kind of wildness that you can get <laughs> from <laughs> these dimensions. There's so much you can do with the RF Tools Dimension Builders. And then we jump into the teleporter and as you can see, we're right back in the overworld. That's really... All there is to it, I just really wanted to do this video because I remember when I started out, I couldn't find any good documentation on the RF Tools Dimensions mod. It was really frustrating. It took a long time to learn how to put all these things together. The only thing I really had to go on was the descriptions on the blocks in-game. There's a good tutorial on GitHub now. Oh, it looks like there's a technology guide in the game too, but... If you're like me, I like video tutorials. They're so much simpler and easier to follow because I'm just such a visual learner. Hopefully this has helped you. If it has, please do like and comment. If you have any questions about this mod or anything else you'd like to see me do on the channel, leave a comment down below. And if you're feeling especially fantastic, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to have lots more content covering lots more mods that just don't have much tutorial support. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.